G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here, back with another Wacky Weapon. So, today we've got the Hunting Missile Rifle. was originally going to call this thing the Missile Hunting Rifle, but Hunting Missile Rifle sounds cooler, and it makes sense for this weapon, and I'll get to that later. So, going into the attachments, we've got the Missile, I mean, the Hunting Rifle 50 caliber receiver, and that'll allow us just to get the best rate of fire out of a Hunting Rifle type weapon. We've got the Missile Launch Shrivel Barrel, and that'll increase our ammo capacity so we have to do less reloading which sounds like a pretty good deal got the marksman so stock from the hunting rifle just to preserve the look of the hunting rifle somewhat got the flame a huge propellant tank this not only increases ammo capacity but it makes it look extra wacky so bonus points there if you like this thing looking super wacky like that got the missile targeting computer the thing that actually makes this fire missiles aim to lock on all that stuff and lastly, we've got the Gorse Compensator here, and um, this gives it a little bit more of a boxy, wacky appearance, and it also uh, reduces recoil somewhat, so that's very good. And that's about it for the attachments. What do you think, guys? Ugly or good? Let me know. Let's get into it. Alrighty, welcome to Gunners Plaza, population about to be zero. So let's get into this, and shooting the hunting rifle, or missile hunting rifle here, we can see that this thing goes alright. Granted, we won't be getting as high a rate of fire as we have out of previous wacky weapons. This thing will shoot with precision, and the recoil isn't going to be too much to handle. And we have much less chance of killing ourselves than usual. We'll go on for a bit of a lock on here. Not getting that hit. Okay, never mind. I managed to arc that around the corner just enough for him to be caught in the splash damage, and down goes the private. So, unlike probably... Uh, past missile launching weapons were actually not detected thus far by these uh, main ones in the here and this guy who's always on a computer doing god knows what so we're still hidden even though we've been blowing these gunners up for a uh, quite a bit now we'll go ahead and shoot all these turrets and there we go we'll take out the commanders and we don't have the best rate of fire so we can just hang back a little bit won't really matter but try not to shoot yourself when you're using this weapon and make sure you wait for those things to clear before you go ahead and shoot them. Wait until the lock-on runs out so we can fire missiles on dumb fire mode right into there. Hopefully that's all of them. That's got to be all of them now. Right, one more just to check. Now while this thing is shooting uh, missiles it's actually using 50 caliber rounds so that's a pretty decent little deal because you know while they might be expensive, they're not as expensive as getting missile, or missiles, I should say. I was about to say missile launching rounds, but oh well. We'll go ahead and take out this gunner, we'll try to thread the needle. Luckily we've got some pretty decent accuracy on this thing, don't have to worry about this thing sending missiles into walls that are a little bit too close, but the rate of fire is a little bit on the poor side. Pop a quick reload there before we come around the corner and we'll finish off the rest using the lock-on feature, why not? Getting lit heaps of splash damage on that bloke. Second shot didn't quite take him out, but the third shot definitely will. We'll probe a little bit up here, looks like we've taken all of these dudes out. Looks like wayward splash damage has taken out that dude and we are clear. And the combat music agrees. So there you have it, a pretty overpowered weapon, but really tame in the grand scheme of things when it comes to my wacky, wacky weapon creations. Let's go move on to Swan, and we might have to modify this a little bit just to make this work better. Alrighty, so here's Swan, and here's our hunting missile launcher just here. We'll reload it, then we'll begin engaging him. So, unlike previous wacky weapons, we're not going to be firing a lot of missiles at once. Every bolt crank takes a few seconds, and it's really going to cut into our DPS. This kind of sucks, so what I'm going to do now is quickly teleport to the workbench and put on a modification that'll make this thing a lot better. And... Bam! Here we are at a workbench. Don't you just love camera magic? Alright, so let's make this thing a little bit better. So what we want to do is go to the muzzle section, and we want to scroll right the hell down until we find called the Gamma Gun Signal Repeater. Now this thing will improve its rate of fire. While it doesn't show it on the weapon card there, it's lying to you. Don't don't pay any mind to that. So we'll chuck that on and we'll just uh, turn ourselves around here for a little bit of a test fire so you can see what this bad boy can do. Holding down the trigger, we can do this. Oh yeah. 
Let's go see Swan now and see what he thinks of this new setup. Alrighty, here's Swan once again. Let's go test our new weapon on him. So we'll lock onto him and then we'll just fire all our rounds into the air. And since we've locked onto him, all the rockets should seek the target just fine. Just gotta make sure he's far enough away for all the missiles to actually arc down on him. Now that he's should be just about dead after this, there we go. So there goes Swan, and I definitely needed improvement to this weapon to make it compete with some of the other more, uh, more powerful missile weapons that I've used in the past. I'll go ahead and explain this weapon, then we can move on to another monster. Hey, some of the characteristics about a hunting rifle that's changed into automatic somehow is that it's a little bit strange in how it fires. So you can fire at full auto just fine as you hold down the trigger. But if you're sort of in hipfire mode and let the trigger go, you have to wait for the bolt to cock to the same sort of time for the bolt to cock to be able to fire again. And you can see this by listening to my mouse as I rapidly spam it. You can see there was a gap there. So make sure if you want to commit to firing as, as many rounds as possible that you don't release the trigger. Although it's a little bit hard sometimes, especially if you're indoors to control that recoil. As you can see there, I'm pulling my mouse back and not doing a very good job. Another thing to note is that if you aim down sights and just press the trigger once, you're going to be committing all of your rounds. It's not going to stop firing no matter what you do. Even if I keep on clicking to sort of interrupt the process, it doesn't stop. Even going into hip fire mode will not help you there, so make sure if you do aim down sights when firing this weapon, you know that you're going to fire all of your rounds. So in third person, your uh, sole survival will cock the bolt just like normal, and this thing will have no automatic capability at all. Even in when you aim like this in third person, your sole survival will still cock the bolt. If you had a scope, uh, the game thinks you're in first person when you aim down sights, so you get more of a recoil like this and you won't be able to stop it. So now that I've explained how the hunting rifle works in its broken state, let's go fight another monster. Alrighty, here's a giant deathclaw. Let's use this weapon to see what we can do. And there's some interesting little perspectives you can get out of this weapon. Alright, let's just kill this little deathclaw first so he doesn't get in our way. And we just got launched straight through some trees. So we are, have gotten this fight off a little bit on the wrong side, but I think we'll recover as soon as we get enough distance between ourselves and the massive death claw. So hopefully he follows us down here, we can get a good lock on him perhaps, and then we can rain death from above on him there. Looks like most of the missiles there seem to miss, which is a shame. And as I said before, you're committing all of your rounds if you even think about firing in a... Uh, uh, aim down sights in first person there, so yeah. Anyway, now that the death claw has come close to us, it's time for us to move as fast as we possibly can. Hopefully, getting through here will sort of ward him off for a little bit. We can get a little bit of distance on him before we start shooting him. Where has he gone? Okay, that's a tree stump, not a chameleon death claw. Looks like we managed to lose him here, so. My attempts of thwarting his pathing have gone pretty well. So there he is over there, we'll get another lock on him and rain some missiles down. And now combat music has started again, hopefully he's far enough away, we can do that again. I say he is. Sometimes when he's too close to you, um, he'll actually sort of get into the under the arc of your missiles, so it's not a very good thing. Hang on, there's a queen over there. And we just immediately stole his kill as the queen explodes. We should be good to just rain the rest of him on him now. And down he goes. So it's a little bit fiddly to use this weapon. And um, sometimes it's a lot more convenient to just use an actual missile launcher some of the time. But there you have it. There was the hunting missile launcher. Pretty great weapon. It's got its flaws, but uh, what other glitched weapons hasn't? I mean, this is probably the best you could do out of any sort of sniper rifle in the game, so yeah. Plus, it looks kind of cool with all these wacky attachments on it, so that's a plus. If you'd like this weapon, be sure to check out the description. Links will be there for this mod in all platforms. Thank you for watching, guys.